What's up, BK? Do I miss long hair? Hell no. Full game out? No, this is just the demo. <clears throat> I assume I, uh, sorry, I feel, I feel like an idiot reading this right now for some reason, but I think I need to choose the top, wait, can you, is there a demo for Pacific Drive? Yeah, I want to play the Silent Hill demo, but Larksa stole my PlayStation power cable last night, because she's going to play it. Uh, turn shake. I don't know, dude, it's so weird, like, <clears throat> when I asked chat a bunch of people, I was like, should I play si the Silent Hill demo, and everyone was like, no, it's bad, no, and then I, I see all my streamer friends that are like, oh, I actually thought it was pretty good, it was like, it was alright, <laughs> I don't know, dude. Hello, Zeryoff. Alright. Well, let's, uh, let's start, shall we? <clears throat> See what this game's about. This game contains flashing lights, which may not be suitable for photosensitive epilepsy. It's a work of fiction. You will play as a mentally ill person. <clears throat> not the first time. Difficulty? Subacute Cordosia, designed for players who want to enjoy the atmosphere and story of the game without the added pressure of having to fight. Yeah, no, we need Chronic Cordosia. Designed for experienced players who are seeking a greater challenge and willing to take on the heightened risk that comes with it. That's me. I'm an experienced gamer. While UFO sightings in Hungary have been scarce with only a few reported cases, an overwhelming majority of approximately 90% of these sightings have been concentrated in a specific remote rural area. As a Hungarian, I've always found it intriguing how little is known about the region of my country. With only a few small villages scattered throughout, it remains relatively unknown. Their stories served as my primary inspiration during the development of this game. Yo, what's up, Ain? What's up, Pogarithmic?
looking at? Oh. Yeah, Larksa hates aliens. House is dirty as shit. Well, we didn't hit the ground. Oh. No, we're still falling. <laughs> the fuck just happened? This game looks graphically quite nice. I can drive? Holy shit. Whee. Near Duna Hot, Northern Hungary. Nice little night ride. <clears throat> the square? Oh, yeah, right. Honestly, do I even need... Well, the thing... Dude, the fucking UI for this game is, like, crazy.
<laughs> it's a normal UI toggle. Alright, well, I guess we just keep driving, chat. Wait, are we out of gas? I've been driving red for an hour now. There must be a gas station before the village. Oh, yeah. Holy speed. This place looks abandoned, but I'm out of gas. I should check anyway. Can I sit back down? What the fuck is that? Her stuff. She was always crafting, always had some project going on. This controller, well, it's the only thing she left before she disappeared. This dude, this the UI in this game is like wild. <laughs> Honestly. Hmm. Yeah, it's like your inventory, I think. How did I go? Okay, all right, that's fine. Flashlight was some kind of attachment system. Okay. Like the atmosphere in this game so far. Oh, okay. I see. It's like bringing up the items. I guess once I have gas, I'll be able to use the items from that tool. Uh, wait a sec. We want to go forward. Oh. Shut the door. I don't really expect anybody else to be out here. I guess I don't want a animal getting in my car, though. You'll never find gas. Don't say that.
Chat, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm like this. <laughs> well, this is the gas station. It looks like I can go that way, though. Monitored by security cameras. Okay, we definitely are meant to go through this way, and then there's... Oh, wait, maybe not. Oh, wait, there's... Dunahunt Village. Wait, what? I don't want to throw it. Oh, I see. Is there something in there? Natural remedy infused with healing properties. Wait, I want to take it. Oh, so I have six slots. Interesting. All right, a bewildering incident. A bewildering incident has plunged the small village of Dunahant into disbelief. A bus carrying 24 children Two teachers and the driver encountered an unexplainable fate to, uh, during a day trip to a nearby town. Witnesses recall a strange silence followed by a blinding flash of light. When the light dissipated, the bus remained motionless on the road, but everyone on board had vanished, except for two identical twin girls who were miraculously found on the bus. However, authorities were taken aback when both girls claimed they had never seen each other before and denied having any siblings. Authorities believe that the girls might be in a state of shock, struggling to comprehend the extraordinary events they experience. As investigators tirelessly work to unravel the mystery, they are exploring the background of the twin girls for any clues that could shed light on the baffling situation. The close-knit community of Dunahan is grappling with shock and confusion. Families of the missing children and adults, along with the entire community, are filled with questions and uncertainty. In response, local authorities have established support services to assist those affected by the tragedy. The church, closely linked to the orphanage where the girls reside, provides solace and a gathering place for the community during this trying time. As the investigation progresses, a 50-member search party has been swiftly assembled to explore the nearby woods in search of the missing individuals. The village remains united, standing together to provide support and strength in the face of this perplexing situation. Hmm. 
Alright, is there anything over here? This fucking thing. Get out of my way! I see a ladder. Wait a second, do you think- can you stand? Sound design is so nice. Oh. Hello. Hello. Just take it and leave. Oh, gas? Thank you, but. Not very friendly, but I should talk to him more. What? Have you seen my uh, empty jerry can? Thank you, but the jerry can, it's empty. There's still some gas left in the garage. I'll unlock it for you. Thank you, but I'm here looking for refill and leap. Tonight, things are not as usual for them. What do you mean? Just hurry up. You see my sister? I'm looking for my twin sister. Wait. Oh. Am I the person from that story? She looks just like me, or maybe she's a coincidence. Red hair, same height, we even shared the same scar on her faces. She disappeared two weeks ago, and all signs lead to the forest inside. Have you seen her by any chance? You waited two weeks before looking for your sister? The search parties were called off by the police yesterday. I wanted to come earlier, but they wouldn't allow it. They didn't let anyone hear because of the poisoning and the... I haven't heard or seen anything about your sister. Weird and unusual things are happening here all the time. Many people go missing around here. Most of them will never be heard or seen again. Unusual things? What do you mean? This used to be a happy place once, you know. Until... Just... Look at it now. Never mind. Just leave, please. As I said, it's not their usual hum tonight. Hmm? The towers, they're humming, don't you hear them? Something is about to happen. I don't hear anything. Soon you will. The longer you spend in here, the more you'll hear. Hurry up. What about the church? I said leave! I want to get inside the zone. I heard there's a hole in the first wall near a church. Hmm. It's further down the road at the end of the village. Take a right turn after the church, but if I were you, I'd turn back while you still can. I wasn't sure if any new dialogue would maybe open up. So... He said that there's gas in the garage.
Damn, we got an arm. Oh, this is the crash. Open up. dust in there or something. Is it filling up? I do not have a handle. Wait, was that the thing that I just sent? I don't have a handle. I'm trying to look around, but there's so, there's so much stuff everywhere. There was, uh, I don't know if there was, there was something on this, this wheel, but I like sent it flying and I don't know where it went. I don't know if that was the handle. I hope not. Oh, whoops. Wait, can I move this trash pile? Could it be in here maybe? Or maybe the, oh. Zooming up that ladder, yeah, dude.
What are they looking for? Aliens? <laughs> oh, that's the other ladder. Nice. So, I don't know if this, I don't know if we get like a video here or if it's just pictures, but. Highly aberrant sky phenomena. Handgun ammo. Four bullets. Huge. Say goodbye to back pain. I still don't have a handle, chat. Oh god. I don't want to go over there, but I feel like I have to go over there. Can't get back in the gas? Yeah, I guess... Well, I guess we'll just go over there and see what happens. If I die, then... I die.
I go through this time? It's like it wouldn't let me in because the aliens showed up or something. I don't know. Thing is, I still don't have. Can I not even turn these back? Okay, I, it doesn't matter anyways. I, hmm. Maybe I'm just like getting too ahead of myself. Maybe I can't get the handle yet. Oh yeah, and I could have gone back down this ladder. I wasn't able to cross the rooftops, it doesn't let me. Oh, there we go. There was like an invis wall. Last time. Maybe in here. Stop, stop closing. Ah, oh, nice, I can stack them. More data? Some lights in the sky. syringe. Train? Or not train, but there's like a mine part. This game is so interesting. So yeah, this is, I'm pretty sure that this minecart goes around the map, presumably, so like, I could probably clear up some inventory space by putting one of my heels in there. Maybe the, I don't know if I need the syringe or not. I can put one of the heels away. I'm pretty sure it is. 
I mean, why would you be able to put stuff back in it? If not... For that reason. I mean, this is, oh, this is only the demo of the game, so maybe... Maybe it, it like it's not even gonna be relevant right now, but a huge fan of that. <laughs> I'm going back to my car. Just gotta fill my gas up. I wonder why the aliens came for me that one time. Maybe it's interesting. Maybe it's just random. <laughs> a bit loud. It really doesn't seem like it's that loud just looking at my audio balance. But... Wait, was that my car? I didn't even realize. I thought I had like a camper. Yeah, I have like an RV. Manual saves only. So as soon as I see the town, I should look for the church. It should be on the right. Do I have a radio or something, man? There is a radio. I could turn it on. Nice. <laughs> Was I crouching when I did that? <laughs> All right. Wall surveillance? Very interesting. <laughs> I want a ra I want the radio on, man. Also, wait, is my audio splitting? Uh, it's fine, but. Right. Oh, those movies. I 
outer edges. Con. Girl wood. <laughs> over here. This is where the aliens attacked before, but but, the, but they're not here this time. I always love how f <laughs> fast you can just yeet shit and <laughs> just can't. Hmm. Angel. Did I just throw that out the window? That was sick. <laughs> If I can like bring objects into uh into my vehicle. Okay, well there's something around back. Painting up some mountains. Why are we exploring again? Because why not? I mean, I do kind of see something over there. Dude, like, I don't know where I'm going with this game. This game is, like, kind of crazy, though.
I do hear thumping. Looks like something's trying to get out. Or sounds like it. with the lid. I gotta say, after the after the horror games that I played yesterday, this has been a pretty big step up. Also, flower. Does <laughs> um. the fire hurt? Big tower. I don't know if I can get to it. So, well, I found a fuse in there, right? Is there anything else? Maybe a trap door? I think we got everything. Chat in the middle is disrupting the atmosphere, bro. I don't know. I'm just going to turn off chat. Through here? 
Yo, what's up, Rush Frog? How's it going, man? Dude, there's so much exploration in this game. It's kind of crazy. Wait, it didn't... They said I needed to take a right turn before I get to the church. But this isn't the church. Is this just back where we were before? Is this a circle? Yeah, okay. Interesting. Okay, so... Played it about three years ago? Is this game really three years old? This game's never gonna come out then, if that's the case. game wasn't released three years ago. I don't know, that's what Auntie said, but wouldn't be the first time Auntie said something. <laughs> something wrong. So no offense, Auntie. <laughs> Actually, now I'm curious when this game came out. Uh, whatever, let's just keep playing. What's up, Parkeezy? Yo, Super JJ, thank you for the 22 months, man. How's it going? Oh, the church should be somewhere around here on the right. Okay. 1917. October 12th. I don't know, Auntie. I haven't played this game. Brother, I haven't played this game! Well, who are you asking? Punch Fury, thank you for the four months. The atmosphere in this game is actually really well done, though. Here it is. I should park the van somewhere safe. Where is somewhere safe?
Why do I feel like Auntie is talking about that absolutely horrible alien game called Grey Hill Incident? Wait, no, because that wouldn't be three years ago. I don't know, whatever. I don't know where to park, chat. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, Auntie. Oh, it's another one of these carts. Hey, Jenton, thank you for the two gifted subs. So this game actually has something really interesting, chat. There's... So there's a storage box, but it's attached to a minecart. I said there's a storage box, but it's attached to a minecart. Why can't I interact with it? Oh, there we go. It's actually, I, I think it's pretty cool though. Actually having a logical storage box. Insanity. It's not fucking magic. Why won't this thing close? Logical? I mean... Makes more sense than, oh, there's a box in this room and it just magically transports your items between the rooms. I don't know. <laughs> Why can't I fucking close this thing? It's a game? Man, some of you guys just- uh, you, do, do you guys just enjoy being contrarian to fucking everything? Is that- is that- does that make you happy? Like, some of you are so fucking annoying. It's unbelievable. Dude, it's a, there's so many ways I can go. I don't know. You know, it's funny, we've gotten attacked by the aliens once so far, and like, I don't even know... I don't know if aliens... The aliens in this game are weird. Like, I'm on the hardest difficulty, I don't know if they just randomly show up or what. The first wall. have to get in somehow. How the fuck am I getting in that? <laughs> it's massive!
Press tab, there you go. Hey, fourth dagger, thank you for the 18 months. through well that's concerning where's church bro I don't even know where I'm going anymore just exploring Dude, I have pistol bullets and I don't even have a pistol. Oh god. Time for the probe. Nobody's taking... Nobody's probing me today. Have I saved? Have you been paying attention to the stream? <laughs> Bro, I thought that was a tree. It was a deer. Hmm. The elusive deer tree. Credits right now? What's up? What's with these names? Is the game about to be done? I thought I could move the rock. There's something under here.
Oh, I'm grabbing the box above me. <laughs> How did I get to know about this game? Uh, I went on itch and I bought it. It's a little claustrophobic in here, chat. Bought it isn't this demo? I don't know, I had to pay for it. It's well made though, so I don't mind. I'm not sure if you buy the the early access if you get like the full if you if that's like you get the full game as well or but uh yeah. You trolling? No. It's a big tower. This is where the humming is coming from. Dude. We had pistol ammo, but we haven't even found a pistol. If you bought it now, you'll have the full game when it's out. Oh, okay. I see. I don't see any entry point here. I don't see any interaction point. Maybe just follow the cables, I'm thinking. Okay, guys, I'm a little... What the fuck? The demo is free, you bought the full game. Okay. I, I don't feel like I'm going the right way anymore. Feels like I'm just going to... nowhere. Wasn't I supposed to go into a church? Yeah, I think so. Honestly, I don't even think I'm going the right way anymore. I think I, I should probably go back and reload. But the problem is, I don't know if I can go back because I went through the fucking barbed wire. I'm getting like pulled. Oh God. Oh God.
I do? can't say I I think I'm dead I think at this well, we'll see, I guess. wait this is I think this is invis walled man okay I'll be honest chat I feel like I I don't know what I did but I feel like I fucked I fucked up I was supposed to go to the church maybe not I don't know, dude. You're fine. The last time- I'm not fine! What am I doing? I don't know! This is painful. You know what you're painful to have in the chat. It actually seems like it's pushing me away. Oh shit. It's alien Jesus. turned into Death Stranding. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, the game is definitely... Well, it's funny that the game gives you... Okay, maybe I missed... Maybe I missed the pistol, but the game, like, gave me pistol ammo, but I don't know if there's even a pistol. Um, also... Yeah, the game definitely feels like a bit of a walking simulator, but I gotta say... 
it's really well done. Like the game, the atmosphere of the game and like the sound design and everything is really good. Wait, what is this? Is it just showing me, like, locate? What the f Yeah, the climbing is crazy. Oh, okay, Auntie. Can I not put this in, like, the side mod? Wait. I thought this goes into... Like, I thought I could put it on, like, the set. What is this? I'm... I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm trying to put it in the chips. It don't work. Alright, maybe I just shouldn't even bother picking up the items. Oh. Inventory upgrade. Yo, Kemi, thank you for the three-year resub. DS2 runs? Fuck that. I'm okay. Oh my god. Die! You alien fuck! Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> hey, I shot him once at least. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the first episode. I can assure you that there is much more in store for the upcoming chapters. 
Episode 2 is around 90% finished and completely pay playable from start to finish, but this number can heavily vary based on your support. One of the hardest tasks while, tasks while creating this game is to keep within my scope and the fact that you're reading this means that I have succeeded. Ha, finally. However, with your help, my scope can be expanded way beyond its current limits. Honestly, this game is uh, it's really well done. By acquiring the Founders Edition, you'll gain exclusive first-hand access to the second episode. Hmm. Well, we'll definitely have to check out episode two when it comes out. I bought the Founders Editions. Hey, Glow, thank you for the 33 months. Whew. That game was well, it was well done. All right, uh, I'm gonna turn on some music and just go get some water real quick, chat, and then uh, we will. Um, I don't know. There's like some new waifu dark and darker clone that came out. We, ki I kind of want to try it just for the memes. Uh, there's a, I, there's some other like horror games and stuff I want to play too, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll be back in a moment, okay, and then we'll. Uh, Figure out what's next. I'll be right back. Jim. All right, I'm back. What is the plan now, chat? Oh, we should try the Pacific Drive demo. That's like the, the car game, right? I kinda wanna try that. Well, if Lobos wants to do Dungeon Stalkers with me, I'm down, but isn't he still doing a...
Is he still doing low bro whatever? Oh god, Lobro is still on Radon. He was one hit away. Use the weapon art, Lobro. I don't- I, I'll be honest, I've watched- I think I've watched Lobro play Elden Ring for like 10 hours. At this point, I don't think I've seen him use a weapon art a single time. GTA? I don't know, man. Oh, also Mega Marino, thank you for the raid. Thank you, man. Alright, well, we could check out the Pacific Drive demo. they're gonna nerf Barbarian and Dark and Darker? I don't know, man. Dark and Darker is like... Uh, I love Dark and Darker, but I also hate it. <laughs> it's like... Uh, there's so many things in Dark and Darker that are so annoying, but there's some aspects that I love, too. Dungeonborn has so much nice quality of life stuff. The combat in Dark and Darker feels a lot better though, I'll admit, but... Swordmaster is stronger than Death Knight. Yeah, I haven't actually tried Swordmaster yet. It might be. Yeah, we'll start the demo in a minute, chat. Just gonna chill and... No, you could still play Dungeonborn. Rip Lethal Company? I mean, Lethal Company isn't going anywhere, it's just... I think everybody's waiting for a new patch. Like, dude, I've done t I've done Rend, Titan, and Dine like fucking 7,000 times at this point. Like, give me a- I need a new fucking moon. <laughs> Oh, you mean the guy on my screen. Oh. <laughs> okay. I see. But now we're gonna try out the Pacific Drive demo in a minute. This is the plan. I did see the new Ocarina of Time glitch. Yeah, 
Yeah, apparently you can, like, wrong warp to any cutscene by adjusting the volume of enemy enemies or something. I don't know, dude. It's weird. Hey, Steve Bob, thank you for the 20 months. What's the waifu dark and darker called? Uh, Dungeon Stalkers. Hold on, let me download that as well in the meantime. What the fuck? The game is two gigabytes? Holy shit, that's small. There was a patch for Peaks of Yore! Peaks of Yore was a lot of fun, man. No, there's no new content, but the Peaks of Yore dev is making a DLC. Yeah, the new Getting Over It game... Uh, the, the thing about that is... That new game... Um... It doesn't even have a release date, it just says this month. What is it called again? Climbing Over It or something? Oh, I can't remember. Oh yeah, a difficult game about climbing. It just says February 2024, but there's no, like, actual day. Developer Ponty Pants. It's made one game. Punch a bunch. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks good, guys, for anybody who hasn't seen the trailer here. Check check this shit out. Okay, well, it looks, I mean, it looks good for one of these kind of games, anyways. Glitch will happen and you'll see butt cheeks, probably. Peaks of your 2D edition? Yeah, basically. Well, and then there's also that other game... Baby Steps, which looks equally fucking Nate. stupid. I want him to have 
some kind of discipline. Yeah, yeah. Okay? If you can hear my voice, I want you to come up here and we're having a family meeting. <laughs> Can you not? Imagine speedrunning this. Yeah, you already know it's probably gonna happen. No, I, I was just trying to catch it with my. Uh, sorry, with your was using my... Yeah, you tried to catch it. I saw it was starting to go, and I just tried to. You just kick. You thought I'll give it a good kick no, to counteract the fall. Yeah, I was just trying to steady it. I might over. Yeah, you might. You might have. I yeah, over. You might have. You might have <laughs> He's gonna run this. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. Well, it's not steady now. No. For no, some reason, these games have, are like. Uh, well, if this game ends up being big on Twitch, it'll pro well, it could be a cool speed run. We'll see. Who knows? If I'm I'm just hope okay, I'm hoping that this game actually has like depth to it and as you get good at it, you know, I, I hope it has a high like skill ceiling similar to getting over it. I don't know if it will uh to be honest, but Hopefully, as you get better at the game, you know, you're actually able to, uh, get, th like, go through the stages quickly and stuff. <clears throat> you watched that trailer two months ago? Okay. So, what's your point? <laughs> Alright, you know what, I'm gonna watch another, I'm, I'm in ad mode right now, chat. Black Myth Wukong looks so good too. Still hold sway. Their glory fades through time in tombs of somber gray. You too want to be an immortal? Master? Are there more good folks in the world or bad? Long legs? Oh, I haven't seen that. Of course. Then why is there always suffering? And why do the bad folks always win? Because goodness without teeth punishes not. Oh, it's a movie? For oh, really? Evil. Long legs. The world with blood and grow lotus is that in it. coming that out soon? Is Oh my god, it's starring Nicolas Cage. Bro, okay, so... Larksa was telling me that Nicolas Cage is like... Hold on, sorry, I gotta mute this. Or I gotta pause this. She was telling me Nicolas Cage is like, seriously in debt, and that's why he's been making so many movies. I swear, he's been in like 10 movies this year. It's fucking crazy. It's like every like, two weeks, I see him, I see a new movie with him. It's so funny.
Man, that shot looks so sick. And it's the most replayed. <laughs> Not even like that far off too. Also, there's like a horror game that looks pretty cool. Wait, is this game out yet? Wait, hold on. When does this game come out? Quarter one, 2024. Oh yeah, check this game out. Hello and welcome. Your safety is our priority. As you embark on your experience, please take, take, take note and remember these few tips to ensure a safe and pleasant journey. Stay calm and composed. Panic can cloud your judgment and disorient you. Take a moment to take a deep breath, relax, and continue along your journey. Use your light source to help you navigate through the experience. Doing this ensures that there are no unwanted surprises and keeps you fully aware of your surroundings. Avoid making eye contact with any unfamiliar faces. This is mandatory, and failure to do so will result in an overwhelming assault. It's kind of cool. It looked like the graphics are honestly what stood out to me. But... Oh, there was one other game too. Uh, what was it called? Can't remember. All right, well, we can boot up Pacific Drive. Let's check it out. Trailer for Long Legs. Let's see. No, this is a movie trailer, apparently, but... <laughs> I 
I'll be honest. I have absolutely no idea what the fuck is going on in this movie, which is kind of a good thing, because I hate movie trailers that fucking spoil the whole thing. <laughs> All right, let's boot up Pacific Drive. Thank you for playing this preview of Pacific Drive. This demo is the introduction of the game and the first story mission. Safe game data from this preview will not be compatible with the release version of the game. We appreciate your interest and we hope you enjoy this taste of the Olympic Exclusion Zone. Close eyes when inside a tumbling car. Oh shit. Promotion sickness. Oh, that's cool little accessibility options. Enable lightning? Yes. I want the lightning. Car quirks develop at the standard rate. Uh, honestly, I, I think we'll just leave everything. Lush forests, hiking trails, scenic drives. Is it not scenic anymore? <laughs> it's just crossed out. Alright. One times free soda pop at any big dance. That's enough hauling, move one, stay forever. Park rules, no littering. Campfires, flash photography. Photography between the hours of 3 to 5 p.m. driving off-road. And remember, instructions from any government officials you must you may encounter must be obeyed. Don't litter, drive safe. I mean, I'm just gonna leave- I'm just gonna leave it on infinite fuel. No, I don't. I'm just gonna leave it on the default stuff. This is supposed to be a survival game, and it seems like you could turn off basically all of the survival aspects, so... It's just if somebody wants to just drive, I imagine. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories over about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural occurrences. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. inside was never disclosed. Lyric didn't like that game. What? This one?
Philippic Peninsula, 1998. I'm curious if there's anything up. too loud. This seem a little loud. Hold on. Turn down the master a little bit. Sulfur and smoke. Is that better? Through the snow. It smells like money. Maybe a little more far. Rivers for spine. Between the dry pines of bones unbecoming. Where am I going? You might have to hang behind. Hang behind. DMCA concerns? Uh I don't know. Honestly. You might have to hang behind. Can't say I've heard this song, so. Has Cherno played this? If he hasn't, he needs to. He's like a fucking car, car enthusiast, so I'm sure he'd enjoy this. Doggos. I don't think there is a streamer mode. Actually, wait, maybe there is. Oh, shit. What about now? Oh, cool, now there's no music. Pog. So chat, <laughs> how's it going? <laughs> Play your own music. Uh. Surely there's there's non DMCA alternative music in the game, right? Hey bagpipe, thank you for the eight months. IR levels, extreme caution advised. Damn, I'm going fast. Oh. Jesus. Can I get out of my car? I don't even have a... Like, at least I can use...
Where's my car? I like crawling. Wait, I'm so can. Am I a fucking like? Am I'm. What am I? I'm like fucking one foot tall. Okay, maybe not actually. The, I feel like the proportions are just super confusing here. It feels like I'm super tiny. Looks hella generic, bro. You've seen like five minutes. What the? Kick that bitch. Where the fuck's the wheel? Where's the wheel? What am I doing? Put the wheel back on. Wait. Oh! I'm an idiot. Okay, wait. Oh, there it is. Aha! Sector B. Do you read me? I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around Sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. What? Can I leave? Oh, I can honk. Hey, we got a live oh. one. Okay, hey, do you copy? This car is Hello? different. Hello? Yeah. Working? yeah. What's up? They, they, they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Huh. What if they're stranded? Dude, this car is they're shit, bro. They're from outside? I mean, you yeah, know, the, I guess this is... Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier? It'll, we'll get upgrades. No one's gotten into the zone in ages and looked to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna This thing just constantly veers to the right on its own. You close the shelter is a few miles east. Get there east. however you can, and be quick about it. I wonder... <clears throat> I assume as, like, 
I don't have a map or anything, but... What? I'm filling the tank chat. Gas, like it's guzzling the gas. There hasn't man. been one in decades. Look at that spatial fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what, what we should be looking at is how fast this breacher seems okay, to be. Okay, it actually doesn't moving. seem too fast. Uh, you know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a. No way. No way to not tell me. If they found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy Christ! No one's had working wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the creature needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is a remnant or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. Then back, baby. I don't know, it doesn't seem like the gas is actually going down at all. Maybe it's just... Wait, am I even going the right way? Surely. Yeah, whatever. I mean, this has to be the right way. I don't know. I don't know where else I would go. Jesus, this thing can't fucking turn at all. Do I need to put it in park? Oh my god, I'm like covered in mud. Holy shit, my car is t in such bad shape. Is there a shower around here? Can I get this fucking shit off my face? Look up outside. <laughs> Why is it? Is this a bug? I wonder. Oh, wait. 
I have low there. health. Oh, maybe. of the entire collection of poems I've personally written that's 10 years and 17 volumes and... Oh, that voice just like a nail gun to the skull. Oh, there we so, go. So, another breacher, huh? <laughs> How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300-meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait, I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Oh, God, unfortunately. All right, let's get this car fixed up, baby. Against creatures trying to get in, as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Wait a sec. So you can open the door, but not actually get out. Take off the door. I can have the door in my inventory. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Just trying to understand what everything does. Craft a replacement door. Oh, wow. I don't have. Okay, so I've got on my checklist now. I can take photos. I don't have a camera yet.
there a way to transfer all? Not sure. You can press space, but you have to be like selected on the item. There might be a way. Can I not take these tires? Friendly dumpster. Okay. Aha. Can I siphon? It's a duck. Um. Yeah, I need more gas for my car, but I don't know. It says gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage. I mean, it's that one, isn't it? Or is there another? Wait, am I supposed to be scrapping a different car? No, that's definitely behind the garage, because the entry, yeah, okay, that's, that's the right one. Oh, right, okay. I forgot that I... Okay, thank you, chat. I forgot that I took it out of here. Nice. Okay, I mean, I scrapped all of it. Oh, there we go. It's 
spare tire. Trunk crafting, trunk storage. Can I? Can I not like store it in the? Let's just equip the putty. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little slow with this chat. It's a little like the UI is a little weird, but it, it's it's not bad or anything. I'm just getting the hang of it. Wait, can I actually use the repair putty? Wait, what happens if I do this? Like, it's still broken, right? no way to fix this thing gaping hole in the precious precious rubber fortunately remarkable advances entire patching technology means this can be repaired okay wait so I need a ceiling kit that's what the other option was what do you need for a ceiling kit I do not have the supplies I need two glass shards Yeah, it says crafting and using a ceiling kit, but I don't actually have glass. I'm not sure if I missed something. Why are you brying me? Shut the fuck up. It's not going to be glass shards, but still more supplies. Okay, I don't... I can just replace the tire, but I'm curious if they... And it's an option to do it this way, so I'm just thinking... Where, um... Where am I supposed to get the glass? It's gotta be nearby. Wherever it is. 
Because then we could keep we could keep a spare tire. If if we decide to craft the ceiling kit instead, we could cra we could keep a spare tire. In the car maybe, but I wasn't sure how to do that. Let's just re let's just replace the thing. Does the door ha the door doesn't have durability though? So what the what is this? Thing? All right. I understand. Damn, I can fit a tire in a cardboard box. I can fit four tires in a cardboard box. Oh, this allows me to craft on the go. Yes. Oh, <clears throat> there's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. Won't just be your tour guide. It's your north star and the only way back to safety. This is a, our and map. You should consider it the father, son, and holy spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Can zoom, but it doesn't do anything. All right. There's a frickin' pump in here. I was siphoning that other one. Wait, 
what's wrong with this? Oh, I need a ceiling kit. And there's like a lot going on. Fuel the spare gas. Ooh. Smart. Wait. Uh, right. I wonder, can I take this and just put it into this? Nice. lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The Arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. All right, lady. <laughs> Three hours? Oh man, we got a long ride ahead of us, boys. <laughs> Off you go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. Yeah, time for a road trip. One hour in game is one hour IRL, I highly doubt that. Why can't I? Okay, I'll be honest, I don't understand this. I'm just not gonna bother with this thing for now. The trunk's not open, is it? So, oh. Well, I don't even have a trunk. I don't, luckily I don't think anything can fall out. God, I don't like your name. You'll need a few Thank you for the 14 months. The it's hard to say. The, plasma. the woods are littered with plasma. <laughs> Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. The Arc device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. 
Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Scan. Oh my god, this game is like kind of overwhelming. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Transports, homes, outposts, facilities, they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability hey, gas scrambles the area. Two years. So loot to your heart's content. Just loot away. Some glass. Yes. Look at you! Out in the zone all on your own. They grow so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the hill. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. got the supplies now. Also, can I repair this thing? Can I, like, repair putty it? No. the day the game is real dark. Remnants by now. How oh, can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They, they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind, until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, 
but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Thank Anything you. critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority <laughs> frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. This, uh, the amount of loot here is obscene. I'm like... How much shit am I gonna pick up? Stop picking up shit. I got a craft, though. Do I have hunger? Okay, I think we looted everything, right? Pretty much. Looks like it. Alright. Let's make an impact hammer now. Wait, do I have to make gears? Oh, I do. Okay. Need a vacuum. Can I make a hand back? This is everything, right? Oh, it doesn't seem like. Are there any more plasma generators here? I don't think I saw any other ones. What the hell is that? That doesn't look good. I don't think there was any in here. Oh wait, can we get inside this?
mean, unless I can go through the windows, but like, kind of doubt that. Yeah, I'm just wasting my durability. I thought I looted everything there. Yeah. Alright, I think we just keep going. Check settings for flashlight. Yeah, I don't know. Wait, radio channel up, radio channel down. to turn off the car. Press three. Hmm? What are you talking about? Oh, fuck. Oh, the road flare? Yeah. That My car! Whoa, what the fuck? Oh my god, I didn't put it in park. Oh my god. Bro just yoinked my car and ripped it away. You piece of shit. What the hell is this thing? Oh, it dropped two. Nice. Well, it looks like you're near one of the old gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower uh, up on a hill somewhere. somewhere she said man I wish we had the radio it's so quiet
junk again. It's locked. Uh, we got some stuff. Is there another door here? I do. Oh, a ceiling kit. I feel like I need another impact hammer and another scrap or so. <laughs> Including every piece of trash. Yeah. I want to be able to craft stuff. Although, the thing is, if I'm going to play this game again when it comes out, then like... Probably shouldn't. Oh, shit. Is it there? Can't wait for one of those things to just like eat my car off of a fucking cliff. I don't know what those were. What the hell's going on? Too steep? Spot should do. Oh. My window. Time to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the Octavice display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the Octavice to charge it. Ah, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. We'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about link technology than you need to know.
Locate and drive to an anchor site. Can I get in this radio station first off? I guess I got the... Maybe all I needed was the fuse. Or the transmitter. I mean... Oh, wait. Am I done with the dungeon game? No. Well, I wanted to play some today, but... Well, Lobos was busy doing a... Uh... stuff with his brother. And he's got like D&D &D later tonight. It says, collect materials and crap for placement parts. Like, what? The thing is, I, can I even make anything that's better than crude? Not really. Keeping your doors closed and car parts in good condition will give you a dependable barrier from the zone. Okay, well I can make a crude bumper. Looks like shit. Can I put the panel on... How the fuck do I make like a... Is the back just always gonna be open like that? Can I... Can I make something for the back? Does it need to be a door? Should I get some putty then? What, what even needs... Oh, the steel door? Oh, that door is in beautiful shape now. Yeah, I don't know. Is there anything... Not even sure what else it wants me to replace. Oh, headlight. Oh, yeah. is looking good, baby. Let's go. Fuck yeah. I mean, it's an improvement. 
Maybe not looking good, but... Is there no, like... Hold on. Is, is everything DMCA? Literally none of the radio works. Egon or shut up. I'm streaming the game because I'm a streamer and I stream the video games that I play. Uh... fucking GTA. It's GTA all over again. All right, whatever, dude. I want to listen to the music. I'm just going to I'm just going to rip vod viewers, I guess. I don't know. I'll be back in a... I'm gonna go use the restroom. I'll be back in a sec. All right. I want to listen to the radio.
I'm sorry, VOD viewers. You get to listen to my voice. Is this thing? What the? What the? We got to get out of here. Wait, didn't I pick up the anchor? Oh, shit. What? Huh? Wait. Huh? Oh wait, the arc device. Oh, 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 oh. Probably just leave the car on. Wait, select on the Where the fuck am I going? Huh? The pill, wait. What? What the fuck? I'm driving. Shit. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're home. back room.
Okay. I'm not sure I understand the point. Like, the vacuum, you can drop stuff and it'll suck it up, but... I, I don't know if there's more to it than that. Oh, shit. I'm kind of digging this game, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty cool, like... This feels like what the long drive could have been. Except the long drive is literally nothing but just, like, driving. Like, there's, like, nothing to the game except just, like... Or, well, I don't know. That's what... <laughs> that's what long drive felt like to me. There's so much going on in this game. Oh, the roof of the building. <laughs> oh my god. How do I get up there? Is there a ladder? Oh. Handbrake for drifting. Poggers. Need scrap and pl Okay. Take a spin on the test track behind the garage. You're free to explore the auto shop, the route planner, and take a spin. Save gate data from this will not be... Honestly, this game's really cool. There's, like, a lot going on to it, which I really dig. I feel like as you get late into this game, the car, like... You're gonna be making, the car is gonna get so sick over time. My summer car next, it's better. I don't know if it's better than this. I mean, it might be more realistic, but I kind of, I kind of appreciate the more simplistic aspect of this game. I mean, uh, to say that, I don't know if I'd say it's, this game is simple, but it's like more, it holds your hand more than my summer car does. My summer car is like, I feel like a lot do the harder area next. It literally says that I can't. <laughs> I 
do it anyway. No, I'm not having any frame drops. Like, what the hell, is, dude, I, I'm, like, so confused, actually, what's going on with this screen. So, like, route analysis. Wait, so it says I have none. Is that because... Can't put the trunk inside. Um, so I guess the route analysis is like danger levels and like, like the gas is how much, or I don't know. I don't know if it's like analyzing based on how prepared you are or how the route is going to be like. And then there's all that stuff in the bottom right. Is this like stuff that I've missed? I don't know. I feel like this game is going to be crazy as it opens up. Like, <laughs> what the hell is even going on, man? The departure door will remain closed. I missed a lot. Oh, I'm sure I missed some stuff, but honestly, I don't really care. It's just the demo. Like, if I do everything there is in the demo when the game comes out, I'm going to be bored for, like, hours anyways. Hey, Nikki, thank you for the 10 months. All right. Yeah, this game is pretty cool, man. We could do the checklist, but I don't really care. Like, I, I definitely want to play this when it comes out, though. Looks really interesting. Or it seems really interesting. I feel like there's going to be some crazy stuff you can get for the car. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point in this game you just can fly in the car. <laughs> maybe that's, maybe not that much, but maybe that's a bit excessive. Hollow body? No. What's that? <laughs> 